So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Today is a rain day. It is, it started raining last night, sometime overnight, and uh, the temperature is dropping some. It's about 35 degrees right now, and I think it's supposed to turn over to snow, but we're not gonna get a whole bunch. But uh, anyway, it's pretty sloppy today to be out in the woods doing anything, or basically anything outside. Uh, but right now I'm headed down to uh, Melissa's uncle's place. He made me some windows for the mini cabin. And uh, I haven't seen them yet. I told them the sizes I needed. They're gonna mount on the inside so they can open real easily. But he is really good. He is, he's a heck of a woodworker. He can do about anything uh, when it comes to construction, you know, residential construction, finish work. He can build furniture. So I'm sure these windows are gonna be pretty nice. Uh, for a little you know mini cabin that we have he does a fantastic job and I really appreciate him making these for me uh, he is a real nice wood shop and uh, he's, he's very good he built his whole uh, kitchen cabinets and all the trim in his house it came from wood from his uh, mother's farm uh, that they milled and dried and 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 surfaced and built everything out of uh, trees from the farm which is pretty cool but anyway after I pick up the uh, windows I'm gonna head back to the house and I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to clean up the garage some today. It's just a mess. And tonight, Melissa and I are going to a uh, Christmas party uh, for my the company that I work for. It's over in Ohio. And it is at the uh, NFL Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, which that should be pretty cool. I don't watch much football, uh, not because I'm you know, bothered by it or what certain people do or anything like that. I just don't. I like doing other things besides watching it. Now, years ago, I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, back when I was a kid, like the Jack Lambert days and, and Lynn Swan and all those guys, that was that was pretty good. I really liked that back then. But anymore, uh, I would rather be cutting wood or screwing around outside than watching a football game. Matter of fact, I think I mentioned in another video before, uh, one time I had a buddy, he called me, wanted to know if I wanted to go to a Steeler game because, as you know, we lived north of Pittsburgh, and it was a Sunday afternoon or something. And I was like, no, I, I can't go. He's like, what do you got going on? I'm like, I'm going to cut some wood. And, uh, and we laugh about that, but it's the truth. Uh, I have nothing against it. I don't care what anybody does, to tell you the truth. If you're uh, passionate about what you do and you enjoy doing it and you're not hurting anybody else, have at it. But uh, it's just not my thing anymore. But tonight should be pretty neat. I've never been to the Hall of Fame I'll get to see some stuff from some of those uh, players of yesteryear, so that'll be pretty cool. And uh, we'll see, but we'll probably get a little footage from that later on and uh, add that into a video at some point. But anyway, I'm heading down here to Melissa's uncle's. I'll be there in just a bit. I'll get these windows picked up, and I'll show you them. I don't think I'm going to put them in today. In, uh, it is the last day of deer season, by the way, but since I got that buck the other day I don't have to be out in this weather hunting in it or even out in the mini cabin for that matter uh, and then we have muzzleloader season come in the uh, day after Christmas and uh, we'll probably try to get a doe during muzzleloader season and I also want to do a video at some point if you're interested let me know in the comments but uh, kind of the whole process I'm just learning again the whole flintlock thing I used to flintlock hunt years ago and then just kind of started again last year and it is a lot of fun, you know, that whole traditional type hunting. Uh, you know, some states you can use inline muzzle loaders, and I think some you can use percussion. We use the flint lock, you know, the flint hits it, makes a spark, lights the fire in the flash pan, into the barrel of the gun, shoots a round lead ball out the end of it. And that's uh, a whole process there. And we just enjoy it, we have fun with it. Uh, we call them flinch locks because you have to really practice with them. To keep from flinching when you shoot because you pull the trigger get that big flash in your face and there's a delay it's hard not to flinch it really is so I'd like to shoot some you know over the next couple days or you know at least before yeah before the season I'd like to shoot some and I got a new one it's a used one actually but it has peep sights on it so if you want to see a video on the uh, flinch lock let me know in the comments maybe we'll do that that would be fun and it's funny because we enjoy shooting but uh, you know they're slow they're kind of a pain in the neck to clean and it's a whole thing but it's a blast it really is we enjoy doing it so uh, yeah I'll probably do a video on the old flinch lock that'd be pretty cool 
But anyway, I think that's about it for now. I will uh, see you in just a bit here. We'll check out these windows, and then we'll get back to the house. And I also want to talk today, uh, a lot of questions on the uh, Wallenstein skidding winch. We'll try to answer some of them. Uh, I don't know all the answers, but I'm actually going to contact Wallenstein this week. I had a few questions regarding hooking up logs. Uh, some people say use the cable only if you're just pulling one log, and then you use the choker chains if you're pulling multiple logs. So I've done it both ways, and I'm not sure. Both work, no problem at all. But I'm going to uh, I'm gonna ask them what they recommend. But anyway, I think that's it for now. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah. And this is 24 by 48. Yeah. Where'd you get, does this all come from the farm, this here? Yeah, everything from here, everything in here. Yeah. And how about these old tools here? Those are all my grandfathers and dads, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that old lathe is 110 years old. This lathe? Yeah. I had a computer. This is a three phase motor. Yeah. It makes variable speed. A regular motor, two phase won't do good variable speed with power. Yeah. But it's a three phase motor. I had this computer on running it. Cost seven hundred dollars. Well, that lightning storm must have fried it. Yeah. So I took it up to Dan Ball Electric. They wanted seven hundred dollars to fix it. I said, "Well, that's the same." So I haven't had the money to buy another one. But I was learning on it. Yeah. I had that sucker humming. It has these old brass grease caps. Yeah. I had that sucker. You just give him a little turn once in a while, puts grease on. I had that sucker up to like I don't know, like more than it's supposed to run. <laughs> like it runs like a new watch. Hundred and ten years old. That yeah, is. Nineteen oh nine. There's the. Brett took that out of the catalog on the internet. That's the original catalog and picture of it. I even have all the parts. Oh, here. Yeah. Defiance, but, uh, in Ohio, Defiance Machine Works was made. Wow. The shipping weight on it was 2,100 pounds. <laughs> I wonder what they used that for back in the day. Like, well, he said most of they made stuff for railroad cars. Yeah. Like uh, the railroad cars are fancy. You wow. see all these turn, all these things you can put on here, you can stick in here to get inside bowls and do yeah. different angles. Yeah. And then there's this big face plate to mount out here. You can put a stump on that thing. You know? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I, I was turning stuff. I was getting good, and that got fried. But maybe next year I'll buy another. Uh, it's called a variable frequency drive. Okay. And it, see, normally this thing come with a big pulley system. It was on yeah. the wall. Had all these levers and stuff. Right. On it. But and I. So, you know, I I left all that in the weeds. I got this thing in the weeds up there at the, up by your place, that junkyard back in Shaw. Yeah, Shaw Lane. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. And then you just, just cleaned up. Do you, what, do you sandblast it all down? And, uh, yeah. 1909. Yeah. So sometime when uh, the weather's better, I'll, I'll show you that pond down there that, that he built. And he has like an outdoor kitchen down there. It's beautiful. Really, really nice. But anyway, the windows came out fantastic like I expected. I'll show you them here in a bit. All right, I just got home, and uh, Melissa's going to check out these windows. The first one is the uh, small one. There's three different sizes, or two, two different sizes. One small window. They're beautiful. They're pretty nice for... Uh... Come on, Pipe. Check that out. So that one will mount the other way. So that window is yeah, this yeah. way. Here, bring it a little bit closer so they can see. Piper, come on. So they're made out of oak and uh, there's actually glass in there. It doesn't even look like it on the screen yeah. here. And then what they'll do, they're going to mount on the inside and they'll open up. You okay. know, mm -hmm. I have those rare earth magnets. They'll mount into it and I might even put little handles on them, but they're very nice. Wow. He does such nice work. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. I was telling them we are going to the uh, Christmas party tonight in Ohio. We actually have to get ready for that here pretty yeah. quick. Very quick. <laughs> yeah, and it's snowing? Yeah, the rain turned to snow. Right. So he actually made me uh, two pieces just to show how strong those joints are. Go ahead and try to pull one of them apart. And Melissa's pretty strong. I am. Here, show them up close to that. Isn't that nice? Now tilt it down. Yeah, very nice. 
Can't pull it apart, can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the, wow. that's how he made them. He did two different styles, but uh, he ended up, I think, with that version that you have in that hand there. Very nice. That's yeah. beautiful. Make nice windows. Heck yeah. What a great idea. So uh, Melissa hasn't been uh, helping with the uh, wood splitting or anything lately. She had a little had a, procedure done on her foot. I did. So I had a cyst, which it's the, she called it a tumor, had to cut it off. And I have five stitches. And I'll tell you what, it's been sore. It's feeling much better. Yeah, she went the other day and, uh, you know, they said, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. No big deal. And then she came home and it kind of was a bigger deal than what what we well, all they, thought yeah, a couple weeks ago they drained it and then she's like if it comes back to that size call me and it did so she had to cut it off yeah so she's been hobbling around a little bit the last couple days but, yeah you'll be good to go in another week or so i hope so <laughs> <laughs> yeah no gym this isn't like you sitting, no, I sitting know. still oh well I, i'm on the mend so can't complain yeah. Things are good. Thanks for all the support to our YouTube channel and the Facebook. Go check out our Facebook Outdoors with the Morgans and Instagram Outdoors with the Morgans. We make a post once a day. And uh, yeah, and also use the hashtag. So it's just, you know, I grew up with thinking hashtag with pound. And my <laughs> daughter thinks, like, my younger daughter thinks it's nothing but hashtag. So use hashtag Outdoorgans. And uh, I see people using that. We like those pictures and share them sometimes on our story. But the great part is that all of you can follow that hashtag and you can see one another's pictures. And I've watched a lot of you comment on one another's From all pictures. over the world. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. You can see and get to know others as well. It's a whole little community. Pretty cool. Unity in the community, I say. That's right. Well, we better get ready for the party. I'll put these windows away and uh, we'll wrap this one up. Sounds good. Thanks. So there's a better look at the four windows. Like I said, that one little one, that goes on the side of the mini cabin where the door is. And then the other ones, they're one by fours for the other three walls. But really, really nice job. They'll work out really well. Maybe tomorrow afternoon, uh, depending on the weather, I'll go out and get those installed. But uh, yeah, super nice. All right, so back to uh, some of the questions here on the Wallenstein FX85. Some people said, you know, if I'm pulling a single log, I should just use the cable. And these are only for if I'm using, uh, pulling multiple logs, you know, use these in the choker chains. I've done it both ways and it works fine either way. I'm not sure which is preferred or which is recommended. I'll find out. Another question people ask is uh, why I don't just pull from up top here instead of going through this pulley right here. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but they did tell me when they delivered this, if you pull from up high, you can do it. Uh, but for like big heavy logs, you know, it's kind of raising the whole center of gravity and you're pulling up high You're pulling more on the top link of the tractor and I don't think they recommend that And uh, it works out really well pulling the way I have been from down here So I'm going to continue to do that and then people are asking as well how this is engaged There's a rope on it right here pull that rope and it engages the clutch and uh, starts pulling now, several people mentioned they do have a uh, remote control for this, which would be kind of handy, you know, if you're down over the hill. But I kind of like this the way it is and the, for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know, when you're pulling, I like to be at least near the tractor, not right beside it to kind of see what's going on with it. And so uh, when you have the rope, that's what you're doing. And the other thing with the remote control, it's either completely on or it's completely off, if that makes sense. So it's a clutch. And, you know, you don't want to slip the clutch, but with the rope, you can kind of feather into your pull a little bit and you're not jerking around as much. And, uh, you know, if it's hung up or something, uh, you can ease into it with the rope, engaging it slowly without slipping the clutch. With uh, the remote control, it's either on or off. So uh, I think the rope will be just fine. But for other applications or, you know, different people in different circumstances, maybe they want that remote control. So I think that's pretty much it for the skidding winch. Now, uh, if you saw the last video, I used this winch to pull out a, a big red elm tree. And uh, last night, right before dark, I went out there and I cut a saw log off of it. I wasn't sure if I'm going to saw any of that into lumber or not. And I asked Nathan from uh, Out of the Woods YouTube channel. He's been sawing for a lot of years. He's very knowledgeable and he's my go-to guy because I'm still learning all this stuff with the sawmill. 
and Nathan explained it as uh, that elm has like an interlocking grain and it's kind of it'll move on you when it's drying you know so he said if you want eight quarter saw it thicker so maybe saw it into ten quarter something like that let it dry for a long time and then maybe surface it a little bit let it set some more do it again and he wasn't a big fan of sawing elm but he did say if you have one you know you might as well uh, try it so uh, i think that's what i'll do so i gathered up this one eight footer it's actually eight feet six inches long and I think what I'll do, I'll saw this into uh, probably 10 quarter, hoping to finish with 8 quarter. But the elm is very, very pretty wood. It is. Uh, it's just kind of hard to work with. And it's hard to split as well. Uh, I split one piece of it just to kind of demonstrate. And surprisingly, this one here actually split pretty easy. Usually it's a lot more stringier. Uh, but the elm, I'm just not a fan of it. But I do think it's a, a pretty wood. It is. It's, it's nice. So... Uh, I will save that one log, saw it into some live edge slabs, and uh, we'll see what it looks like here in a couple years. Maybe use it for something or sell it or something, but uh, we'll see. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. I have to go get ready to go to a Christmas party in Ohio this evening, like I said. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.